Hi everyone, what's the story? It's Heather Maria. Okay, so when we found the days of Halloween, um, for the days of Halloween didn't work out as I intended. I had up to do more um, like videos every day, but real life got in the way and things like that. So I, I did my best, I tried. Um, I hope I'll do better at Christmas um, for Vlogmas. Um, which I'm going to be doing a video to suggest ideas for. Um, so, yeah, um, that'll probably be up next week. Um, or Friday at least. Um, okay, now this video, of this story, sorry, is from the website called Thought Catalogue. Um, it doesn't say who the author is, which is really annoying because a lot of them don't say where they got the video, uh, yeah, I keep saying videos, where we've got the stories from, um, they don't give credit to the author, which if anybody knows who the author is, please let me know, then I can give credit to them. Okay, it starts off by saying, when I was a child, oh sorry, it's called Yes. When I was a child, my family moved to a big old two-floor house, with big empty rooms and creaking floorboards. Both my parents worked so I was often alone when I came home from school. One early evening when I came home from the house, when I came home, the house was still dark. I called out, Mum? And heard a sing-song voice say, Yes? From upstairs. I called her again and climbed the stairs to see which room she was in and again got the same, Yes? reply. It was decorating at the time, and I didn't know my way around the maze of rooms. But she in, was in one of the fair ones, right down the hall. I felt uneasy, but I figured that it was only natural. So I rushed forward to see my mum, knowing her presence would calm my fears, as my mother's presence always do, does. Just as I reached for the handle of the door to let myself in, to the room. I hear the front door downstairs open and my mother called, Sweetie, are you home? in a cheery voice. I jumped back, startled, and ran down the stairs to tell her. But as I glanced back to the top of the stairs, the door to the room slowly opened a crack. For a brief moment, I saw something strange in there. I don't know what it was, but it was staring at me. That's creepy. Um, that is really, really creepy. Um, because, like, it's one of those, like, um, it's a weird one. Um, it, it's just creepy. <laughs> um, I got chills reading that one. That one's really, really eerie. Um, I've never experienced anything like that, thankfully. Um, but, that is so creepy. Um, I don't. It, again, it reminds me of that one where you have the kid in the bed and the dad or mum goes in to say good night, and then the kid says, "Can you check the wardrobe for monsters? Or can you check under the bed for monsters?" And then we see a kid there that's identical to the kid in the bed, and you're left kind of like wondering which one's a monster. Um, it's creepy. But anyway, for now, I'm going to say I love you lots and lots like jelly tots. And I'm keeping it looking weird. Bye. See ya.